Active Data for Excel lets you query sheets much like you would query a database. Active Data supports two types of queries, Query by Formula and Query by Example. In this example, we're going to extract out all of the rows where the amount column is greater than or equal to $10,000 and store them in a separate sheet. We can sort the new sheet by the amount column to confirm that all of the items are indeed greater than or equal to $10,000. You can double click the original row column to see the original item. Here we'll query the sheet by formula again, but this time our formula will be a little bit more complicated. Here we'd like to extract all of the rows where the salesperson column equals 8 and the product number equals 1. We can also use functions in our formula. You can use any function that Excel supports or any active data functions. We're going to use Excel's date diff function to calculate the difference in months between the invoice date and the 31st of December 2008. The date diff function requires three parameters. The first parameter is the date that you're examining. The second parameter is the date that you would like to compare it to. And the third parameter is used to specify the units that we're calculating. In this case, it's months, but it could also be days or years. Here we're asking Active Data to extract out any items that are one or more months old. Once you click Finished, Active Data will extract out all of the items that meet your criteria and place them in a new sheet. Active Data's Query by Example feature allows you to specify your criteria in a somewhat simpler manner. Here we'll select the Date field and then ask that Active Data extract out all items where the month is equal to 8. Next we'll select the Salesperson field and have Active Data extract out all salespeople whose values are 5. Now we'll select the product number field and have active data extract out all values of 1 or 2. Notice how we put a comma between the two items to specify that we're looking for two values. The criteria is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Active data will now extract out all of the items that meet the criteria and place them in a new sheet. Here we'll do another query by example. We'll select the product number. We'll specify a range of items that the product number should be equal to. We'll switch over to the inventory sheet and highlight the desired product numbers. We'll click Finished and Active Data will extract out all of the invoices for products 1, 2, 3, and 4. 